Does anybody want to hear this speech? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. There's, there's one thing. I'm not going to do it if it, if it isn't silent because you won't like it at all. This is a prayer. Incidentally, I was at the White House retreat. House that was where you go to meditate and think about things as they are when you have a large family and things are going on and they're not all the way you like them. Well, the White House, you spend three nights without talking to anyone. You just pray and meditate and listen to lectures from religious people. It's very interesting and it's very nice. But on the inside page of that booklet that I was given back that long ago, and this is like 30 years ago, I found this prayer. And, and that's what I copied here. I had to add some of my own punctuation, but it's a prayer for those growing old. Lord, you know that I'm growing older. Keep me from becoming talkative and possessed with the idea that I must express myself on every subject. Release me from everyone, from the cravings to straighten out everyone's affairs. Keep me from the recital of endless detail. Give me wings to get to the point. Seal my lips when I'm inclined to tell my aches and pains. They are, in, they are increasing with the years and my love to speak them. And my love to speak them grows sweeter as time goes by. Teach me the glorious lessons that occasionally I may be wrong. Occasionally, that is. <laughs> Make me thoughtful but not nosy. Helpful but not bossy. With my vast store of wisdom and experience, it does seem a pity not to use it all. But you know, Lord, that I want a few friends at the end. I place myself in your hands. Amen. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Was it written for you? Did it say? <laughs> Did it say Bill? <laughs> That's right. I thought it was for me. <laughs> and, and I, I asked the girl if she could do something with it. So she put it on this nice, flexible thing here. And But... That, I wanted to make pen, punctuation marks, pause marks. So I uh, says, can you make a copy of that? So she made me three copies. So I do have some copies I can hand out it. For a price. Yeah. <laughs> 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 can you pretend that you, you wrote it? Well, oh, we can just go and make copies. <laughs> it, it's really quite thoughtful, especially, especially in certain uh, families. I think you're doing a good job, too. Perfect. Yeah, well, I sure thank you for listening. And, and any time I uh, overwhelm you with my conversation, do what Barb says. I've heard that before. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, I, I, I do want to thank you all for getting away from whatever you're doing, which was all, I know, important to do this uh, menial task, but I do appreciate it. It's moving, and it was topped off by Father's comments, even though he was having troubles. We hosted the Methodist Church here at our parish yesterday, and you can see the altar was a screw. Uh, that's huge. And uh, it's unfortunate, but he, he was on the spot. But I think I could have gone up and helped him a little bit. I would have a couple years ago. And I am now. Uh, Father says, I just talked to him. He says, if you got a sandwich or two left over later? He says, I just went out and I bought uh, some steak and shakes. He says, but if you got some, well, I'll take one. So, Barbara, I said, we can fix him up, right? Sure, of course. Mm -hmm. We love you, Dad. Let me read my, let me read my, my.